What's going on, YouTubers? It is your boy, Delex Man, and welcome to another edition of my Q&A Corner, where usually, usually, every Wednesday, I answer your questions in under 15 minutes. But, it's not Wednesday, it's Friday. Please continue to work along with my hectic schedule. Um, it's kind of hard to do these every Wednesday, but... Hopefully, as time goes by, I can put things back on schedule. Anyways, if you have a question for me, like my Facebook page. And when the time comes for you to leave questions, leave it on the post, and I will answer it if you're lucky. Because I get like 100 questions, whether it's Ask FM or Facebook. But thank you to everyone who takes the time out of their day to answer, not answer, but ask me questions. I do the answering. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um... How do you feel about the stable involving Natalia and Beth Phoenix from 2011? Pin up strong. Um, not gonna lie, I like the idea. Execution, not so good. I feel like I kind of felt like during that time WWE was trying to put a lot of emphasis on the pretty ladies, and although they beat up a couple of them. They were embarrassed a lot by people like Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres. And I'm just like, Because someone like, well, both Natalia and Beth Phoenix should honestly be dominating all of them. Natalia is arguably the best female wrestler on the roster. And I still say that, well, compared to Charlotte, of course, but... I still think she is at least one of the best wrestlers. And Beth Phoenix is like a very masculine Amazon who was dominating the roster, the Divas roster, in like 2008. So they should have been running roughshod through the division. But here they are in 2011 getting embarrassed by Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres. I'm just like, oh. So the idea was nice. The execution was not nice. I'm not going to say they were buried, but... It certainly felt like it. It really did. But that is my thoughts on that. Goosebumps or Are You Afraid of the Dark? What show did you like better? Both of them were really good. I'm going to go with Are You Afraid of the Dark? And here's why. One particular episode. And all the episodes end in a very dark way. But this one really creeped me out. There's this girl. There's a lizard. The lizard bites her, and the lizard transforms into her, and she becomes the lizard. So, the lizard as her goes around doing evil stuff as her. And then at the end, you know, the lizard goes back to normal, but she is still a lizard. Her friends have to choose between either her or the evil lizard. They choose one, throw it in a well, and then the one that remains turns back into the girl. At the end of the episode, you realize that was the lizard. So, the one they threw in the well was the girl, and she died. I'm thinking, oh my god, this was a kid's show back then. It was really, really dark, so, yeah. Are you afraid of the dark? That's the show I grew up with. You won't see that stuff being given to kids nowadays, man. But yeah, that, that was my generation. Who from NXT do you see being the next franchise player? Wow. Man. You're asking me, who do I see being the next one? Because honestly, knowing me, I'll say all of them. But, man, next. Like, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Adrian Neville, Sami Zayn. Shoot. You know what? I'm going to go with Finn Balor. I think he just fits everything that we would want in a wrestler and what the WWE would want in a wrestler. He has the pageantry. He has the look. He has that mainstream appeal. Entrance and also inside the ring. And then he also has the in-ring ability. He has all the tools that we want and they want to really be that top guy. And I seriously think when he comes to the main roster, he is going to kill. He is going to do a lot of great things. 
So I can't wait for him to debut. I say that, but knowing the WWE, they might find a way to screw him up. Please do not change anything, anything that he has right now, and I guarantee you he'll be awesome on the main roster. What do you think of Blue Pants, Levy Bates, Blue Pants, Creative Genius or Blunder? <laughs> um, neither. I think Blue Pants was a joke. She came in as a jobber, but she got over. So because of that, they signed her and she stayed. Levy Bates is a really good wrestler. And I think, you know, being the girl that um, Soft, Enzo Amore, and um, Big Cass used as a punching bag for Carmella helped get her over. And uh, I don't know, man. I think I personally like her. I think she's funny. I think she's a really cool character. Um, she's like, I won't say the Spike Dudley of NXT, but more like Molly Holly, the good Molly Holly. Might even say she's the Eugene. Maybe. Whatever you want to call her. I think she's fun. I think she works as a great enhancement talent. And hopefully, as time goes by, she gets taken seriously. And becomes a natural part of that NXT female roster. And not just someone that's a punching bag. But I like her. Um, but to answer your question, no. It's not either creative genius or blunder. It's just something that they put out there and fans got behind and it works that happens in wrestling you don't expect it to work but it works so they run with it they lucked into this one why is wwe wasting miz and miz down by not giving them a one-on-one -on -one match at wrestlemania that's a great mystery to me i don't understand how they can take one of their hottest feuds and they have to know this feud is hot not given a one-on-one -on -one match on the grandest stage of them all. I don't understand it. What, are they going to give them a one-on-one -on -one match at Extreme Rules? Why would you do that? Why not have it at WrestleMania? I really don't understand what their line of thinking is, why they're not doing it. It's, it's a bad idea. It is being wasted in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. It is. What, are they going to say, well, we're going to use this to add more heat to it? Like it needs more heat. I would strike while the iron is hot. And not wait to give us the one-on-one -on -one match after WrestleMania. It wouldn't make sense. But what do I know? I'm just a wrestling fan. Should the Money in the Bank match matches return to WrestleMania? Rather than having its own pay-per-view. Yes. Yes. I think the IC title ladder match is an indication of that. Just having it at WrestleMania. And quite frankly, we have way too many pay-per-views as it is already. It's too many. We have like 13 a year. Take away that pay-per-view and just put the money in the bank match at WrestleMania. That way you have that special attraction that will keep fans coming back every single year. It used to be the Undertaker streak. It's not around anymore, so we need that constant every year. And I think it should be the money in the bank match. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, what do you think of Bray Wyatt taking over Undertaker's powers? If he beats the Undertaker. Um, uh, no, no, I'm not for it. It's, I like Bray Wyatt as he is. I don't want him to be a knockoff of Taker and lose his momentum. Kind of like what happened to the Ascension. They became knockoffs of the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, and now they're nothing on the main roster, which is very depressing. Don't mimic the past. Um, if you're going to do it, do it in a way of paying homage, like Axel Mania is. Now... You can do it and make it work. Axelmania is a comedy gimmick. It's a joke. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. Um, but it's fun. And that's why it works. But when you're supposed to be taken seriously, and then you're literally mimicking a different group, it won't come off very well. And Bray Wyatt is a serious character, and if he mimics Taker, it will not get over it. 
he won't be seen as Bray Wyatt. He'll be seen as that guy mocking or mimicking The Undertaker. So no, I don't think it's a good idea. Do you think Brock Lesnar will stay in the WWE? I did a video on this. I'm going to say no. I said no in that video, and I gave much, much more detailed reasons for why. So please go check out that video um, if you want my full detail. But short answer is, honestly, he probably has no other reason to stay. They gave him everything. So he's good. He'll go to UFC now. That's what they get. That is what they get. Do you think the IC title is gaining more significance than the world title? Yeah, 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 I'll say it, not because, oh, here they come, because Daniel Bryan's in it. No, 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 guys, what makes a title important is who is chasing after it. Right now, there are eight people, eight people chasing after this IC title. Eight. How many people are chasing after the world championship? Rollins, Reigns. Yeah, that's it. Cena's not chasing after it. He's going after the U.S. title. You know, what makes the championship important isn't the people saying, oh, look, it's important. No, it's the people chasing after it. It's the people who kill, who break rules, who go and do whatever they have to do to get that title. The people carrying it make it important. And right now, the world title doesn't feel important at all because Lesnar is just a prop to him. And it'll probably be a prop to Reigns too because honestly, nobody believes he's world championship material. And there goes the Reigns fans coming on here. Oh, Deluxe man, stop mocking Reigns. Oh, you're just mad because Daniel Bryan didn't win and whatever. I'm going to get in every other video, so I might as well get it now. Um... What are your thoughts on Bruce Blitz? Don't watch him, but I hear he is quite the hater of John Cena. So, yeah. Do you think Undertaker will lose at WrestleMania 31? Yes. I think he should lose. Because Taker is not going to be around forever, and he needs to go ahead and start putting over the next generation. What are your feelings about WCW 2000? Oh, man. One of the worst years for WCW. Me and Preston did a series on Wrestling Paradise where we reviewed pay-per-views from WCW 2000. We will never do it ever again. It was that bad. Bad. Just terrible. Wow. Um, your thoughts on Rhino's return to NXT? I said this in my NXT review. I'm happy about it. I think if he's there... To simply put over the main roster, which he is. Not the main roster, but the NXT roster, excuse me. Um, good. He said they bring some notoriety to NXT, which is excellent. Which is sorely needed. And final question. Have you played Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse? If you have, how you feel about it? Just got it. Um, I think it's perhaps the best DBZ game. Well... DB game um, they created recently. It is better than Budokai Tenkaichi 3. It doesn't have all the characters, but it has enough to keep you satisfied. I like the gameplay. I like the story. Um, it pays homage to the DBZ universe very well, and no complaints at all, man. I like the freedom of it and everything, and it is recommended. I do recommend that you guys get it. I haven't beaten it yet. I just got it yesterday, but for the most part, I can't put it down. I had to stop myself, pull myself away from this game so I can, you know, get on with the rest of my life. But if I didn't have anything else to do, this is what I would be doing. Playing this and doing this. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your questions. I will catch you at my next Q&A and next video. Whenever it is, wherever it is. Your boy, Deluxe Man, signing off. You guys take care. Peace.